3D printing provides us the ability to be able to do our own replicate, Star Trek replication right there on, on the spot to help us replace things we've lost, replace things we've broken, or replace, or maybe make things that we've thought of that could be useful. Let me give you an example. There are a lot of hex head 532nd inch needs on orbit, and we can replicate these tools for us, and we carry them around with us. If you carry them around, you can end up losing them. Seat track on airplanes are the same kind of seat track that we use on orbit between racks, and we put little feet in there to anchor things down. These little feet, you can end up losing quite a bit. The ability to not have to manifest mass and launch it to resupply ourselves is most convenient. 3D printing in zero-G will be ready to launch um, early June of 2014. Currently, we're slated for SpaceX 5. The goal of 3D printing um, is that we want to take this to microgravity and for use on the International Space Station. As you might imagine, um, on Space Station, whatever they have available uh, on orbit is what they have to use. And just like on the ground, you have parts that break or get lost. When that happens, we do have to wait for replacement parts, or we have to use uh, multiple spares that have to be launched, um, which does require extra mass. So the idea here is that we will, on demand, be able to print uh, replacement or spare parts as needed. We can have the prints preloaded onto the printer, or we can upload directly from the ground. Um, so we'll have an, an on-demand uh, 3D printing capability on station. We've actually been doing a lot of, of testing on the, the 3D printer right now. And the most recent set of tests we did uh, through the Flight Opportunities Program, another contract we have with NASA where we flew the printer on zero-gravity um, parabolic flights. Um, just a few weeks ago where we actually verified that the, the design of our printer works in microgravity, which was a, you know, really a, a huge step to, to get into the space station. Maiden Space is responsible for designing the hardware, but NASA is helping to provide insight um, into key uh, design areas and into the testing for flight certification. 